Hi, I'm going to go through the application component of Uniform Circular Motion, which is uh, banked roads. So when we've got a car uh, just driving along the road, uh, let's just have a look at the forces that are acting on it. So first we'll have a look at the force of uh, due to gravity. So this will be this force here, um, which is due to the mass of the car and the acceleration due to gravity. By Newton's law, the, for every force there's a equal and opposite force acting in the uh, opposite direction. So um, we call this the normal force. In this case, it will be in the exact opposite direction as the force due to gravity, so pointing up. Um, when we look at the car in its uh, motion, uh, there will be the forces that are the resistant forces, such as uh, air drag and um, friction losses due to the wheels um, with the contact on the road. And the forces in this direction will be the uh, forces due to the wheels uh, accelerating the car forwards. When we come to a banked road, we can look at uh, the forces that are acting on the car using the same principles we did before. So let's first we start with the uh, uh, gravity. So gravity always acts down towards the center of the earth. Um, and in this case, the car, uh, the gravity vector component is uh, drawn as such. Now we know. Uh, there is an equal and opposite force acting on the car, uh, and that would be going straight up like this. However, uh, the normal force acts perpendicular to the road uh, with a right angle here, and will go out in this direction. Um, as you can see, that uh, this component and this component um, added together in a vector form form the normal force. So this is another diagram. Uh, we've got the normal force acting perpendicular to the road. To the banked road, the centripetal force acting towards the center of the circle uh, or the banked track. Um, and we know this from previous lectures that uh, this equals uh, mass times velocity squared divided by the radius. Uh, we've got other forces, including the friction forces due to the tires uh, to keep the road on the track and uh, the force due to gravity. If we think about the car uh, not moving, and just sit and stay stationary on the track, the slope um, of the bank track would um, be providing a force to make the car fall towards the earth. So the car would be wanting to just fall towards the earth in this direction. Um, if we think about the car moving around, it's provided with the force, the centripetal force, which keeps it in line. Uh, however, if the car is stationary on a bank track, there'll be a, f a component of the force uh, that will want to pull the car towards the center of the track. However, if the car is moving, there'll be a component of the force that will want to push the car out this way um, and fly off the track. Now, typically the tires of the car will overcome the force and keep it in line. However, with the bank track, uh, these forces can be balanced. The car will remain in the constant circular motion around the track with the force due to the bank race track and the force uh, due the force pulling the car in this direction uh, being balanced. So the centripetal force that keeps the car uh, traveling in a circular motion is given by this equation here, which we worked out in previous uh, lectures. However, when we looked at the vector components of the car, you can see that the centripetal force, um, Fn sine theta, is equal to the force that's keeping the car uh, traveling in a uh, keeping the car traveling in a circle. So these two forces are equal and we've got our first equation. If we have a look at the other components, we can see we've got the normal force and the force that is the opposite reaction to gravity force um, in the opposite direction um, can be calculated uh, with this theta being equal to the theta on the bank track. Tan theta mathematically is the opposite of the adjacent side of the triangle. So we've got the opposite side, which is Fn side theta and the adjacent side, Fn cos theta, with this equation. Now we know Fn sine theta is mv squared on r, which we just showed, and the Fn cos theta, this one is the opposite to the force due to the gravity, which is uh, mass times gravity. So we can uh, simplify this equation. We find this final equation, which uh, you will need to know how to derive, possibly in a test or exam situation. Uh, so if friction from the tires in the perpendicular direction to travel is not required to maintain centripetal acceleration, uh, the banking angle, banking angle of theta is required 
um, for a given velocity. 